As a new employee, you need a single place to keep your own notes, useful links and drafts. If the page you add to the shared space isn't relevant to the team, it can be annoying to your colleagues for two reasons. No one likes the overflowing wiki filled with personal user notes or docs. Your teammates that are watching the shared space will receive email notifications about any update to the space content. Wondering what to do? Atlassian Confluence allows you to create your personal space where you can keep everything you are working on. But, of course, you need to create and configure it first. Your personal space is a place where you can keep drafts of your documents until everything is done and you are ready to share them with your colleagues. You can also use your space as a sandbox to test to try something out. To create a personal space, click your profile picture at the right side of the Confluence header and choose the Add Personal Space tab. Now you can find it in the corresponding tab of the space directory. You can also access your personal space using the Personal Space tab of the User Profile menu. When you create a space in Confluence, you automatically become its administrator. So you have the space admin permission for your personal space. This permission allows you to use all space administration tools, including permissions and templates. You can easily change the look and feel of your space or even delete the space. For example, the space administrator status allows you to configure your space's sidebar. Let's hide the profile link and change the type of the page tree. In Confluence, users belong to one or several groups that define different departments, skills, project roles, etc. For example, here you can see a group life cycle of an employee in a large company. The best practice is to assign any permissions via such groups. It is clear and not confusing, especially important for large enterprises that might hire more than 100 people every year. But sometimes it is necessary to grant permissions directly, individually. But you should always remember that group and individual permissions are combined. Why is it so important? You are the space administrator of your personal space and can assign different space permissions to any groups or users. You can grant them the space admin permission as well. Now, let's go to the Space Tools menu and see what you can do there. Here you can see the main details of the space, its name, key, creator and administrators. You can also switch to the Edit mode and change the space name, its home page and space status from Current to Archived. You will not see archived spaces in the Confluence search results until you check the box Search archived spaces. You won't find it in the drop-down menu or in the space directory, but you will find it in the archived spaces tab. You can easily view and edit content in archived spaces. But at the same time, pages from the archived spaces won't appear on the dashboard in the All Updates and Recently Worked On tabs. As a space administrator, you can also delete your space. Your Confluence administrator can restore it from the system backups. If a user with appropriate permissions deletes any Confluence page, not the space, it will be moved to the space's trash. The page is not permanently deleted and the space administrator, that is you, can restore it. If you don't need the page anymore, you can find it in the trash and purge it.
Note that the restored page appears at the same level with the home page of your space. So you need to go to the Space Tools menu, click the Reorder Pages tab, find the page and move it to the appropriate place of your space. As we have mentioned before, group and individual permissions are combined. So you need to be careful while assigning space permissions to your colleagues. Now let's go to the Permissions tab. The View All permission allows you to access the space content, see this space in the space directory and other places like the dashboard. The Delete Own permission allows you to delete any page, blog, attachment and comment you have created in this space, regardless of whether other users have subsequently edited the content. The Add Pages or Blog permission allows you to edit existing pages or blog posts in the space, assuming they are not restricted for you to edit. Users with only the Add Pages or Blog permission can insert or remove existing attached files in the edit mode, but they can't upload a new file, a new version of the file or delete the attached file completely. The Delete Pages or Blog permission is also required to move a page or blog to a different space. The Add Comments permission affects all pages in the space. You can't selectively disable comments on a specific page with the help of standard Confluence tools. Let's allow your team to view pages and leave comments in your personal space. Note that your system administrator has system-wide administrative permissions. He or she can easily view all the content, despite your locally assigned space permissions. The next interesting tab is Look and Fill. Here you can easily change the space color scheme or add space header or footer. All these settings are intuitive. But if necessary, you can always read Atlassian documentation. To create a blank page in your personal space, click the Create button. You can also base your new page on a template, a Confluence page with predefined content. There are two categories of page templates in Confluence. Global templates that are available in every space of your corporate Confluence site. They are defined by your Confluence administrator. Space templates that are available in a certain space only. They are defined by space administrators, for example by you, if it comes to your personal space. Let's create a new blank page for your personal notes. Now you can easily make any notes you want. If you want to structure your page, you can use layouts. However, the column width is fixed. If you need more than three columns or want to specify certain columns width, use the section and column macros. The section macro defines an area that will contain your columns. Note that you can add as many sections as you like. You can insert column macros within your sections and add as many columns as you need. The section and column macros are useful if you want to define a specific percentage or pixel width for each column.
You can also choose to show border around your section and columns. That Lassian team notes that you should always have at least one column macro within your section macro, otherwise it will impact the page load time. And don't forget to use some headings that will help you to highlight your page content. If you have any similar information entries, it is handy and more visual to use bullet or numbered lists rather than plain text. If you want to share additional files or documents, you can attach them to your page. Here you can easily delete your attachments or sort them by the name, size or creation date. You can also drag and drop files directly to the page while viewing or editing it. Or you can go to the Insert menu, the Files and Images tab and upload a file in the Edit mode. If you delete any attachment in the Edit mode, you won't see it in the View mode, but this file is still attached to the page. To display all existing page attachments, Go to the Attachments tab or click on the small paper clip near the breadcrumb link. If you want to list or filter all the attachments in the space, go to the Space Tools, Content Tools, Attachments. You have already learned how to insert links to existing pages, websites or real confluence pages. But you can easily add links to pages that don't yet exist in confluence and you intend to create them later. Such links are known as links to undefined pages. They allow you to create a link that when clicked will create a page with the name you specify in the link field. A link to your undefined page is in dark red. To view a list of the undefined links in a space, go to the Space Tools menu, choose the Content Tools tab and open the Undefined Pages tab. Here you can click the link, create your page and add content to it. Now you can easily reorder pages in your space if required. Note that you can turn undefined pages into real simply by clicking any red link located on your Confluence pages. The color of the link changes back to standard if the page was created and can't be considered as undefined anymore. Links to pages that are in the trash are not considered as undefined links and don't appear in the Undefined Pages tab. Sometimes you need to use information from other pages in your personal or current project space. Of course, you can just copy it, but the original page may be edited multiple times and it's rather annoying and time-consuming to check all the content manually. And there is a perfect way out. Use the Include page macro. 
This handy mapper displays the contents of one Confluence page or blog post on another page or blog post. Any changes to the original page are automatically reflected on your page. There is also another common use case when you need to quickly access the child pages of your page. Obviously, it is not convenient to go to the sidebar and browse the space page tree every time you want to check something. Or, for example, you want to view certain pages and their descendants from other spaces while working on your current project. For such cases, Confluence offers the children display macro that lists the child pages of a page and its further descendants, children's children, we mean. People viewing the page will see only the links for pages that they have permission to view. Now, let's log into Confluence as your colleague, find any page from your personal space and comment it. At the end of our lesson, let's sum up the following facts. Personal space is a safe and handy place to keep your private documents private until you are ready to share them with your colleagues. If you create a space, you become its administrator automatically. Group and individual permissions are combined. A space administrator can easily change a space status from current to archived. You can create new pages based on templates, confluence pages with predefined content. You can easily add links to pages that don't yet exist in Confluence. They are called links to undefined pages. Confluence macros help you to create well-organized and up-to-date content.